Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards and this is a recipe demo of vegan sopa azteca or a sweet potato and lentil soup with a Mexican flavor profile. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Building flavor with onions, toasted cumin, and chipotle paste will stack carrots, sweet potato, and lentils for a hearty and ridiculously flavorful vegan soup. We'll start by chopping the sweet potato, either two medium or one gargantuan, and you can dice it in large chunks, or if you like smaller textures, matchsticks. The matchsticks were easier for me using the mandolin. And then we'll do the same with the carrots. We're gonna dice two large carrots, and today I tried a method I usually use when dicing an onion, creating long slices and leaving uh, the end, the attached end intact to hold it all together, and then turning and making another long slice so that the slices are perpendicular to each other. And then we get to make another perpendicular chop, and voila, I have lots of tiny pieces. Now tell me this isn't brilliant. It could also be slightly dangerous. So make your slices slowly so you have better control over where the blade glow goes and make sure you have a sharp blade and always, always, always make sure that your fingers are not in the way. And you need to dice one more veggie. You guessed it, a medium onion. And now for the unique ingredient, chipotle paste, or a chipotle in adobo sauce, which is what this is. Um, you can usually find that can in like, let's say the Goya section, if you have that brand in your country where like a lot of the beans and coconut uh, milks will be. You need to de-seed it, so tear it open with a fork and put it under running water to wash out all the seeds, which is pretty easy. And then remove the skin and chop it into a tasty paste and add it to the carrots or the sweet potatoes because those all go into the pot together. Depending on how spicy you like it, use half a chipotle or up to two. And now, don't skip this part. Toasting two teaspoons of cumin powder over medium-low heat. This takes literally less than a minute before it starts smoking, so there's really no excuse to not do this step and then add it to a little bowl with two chopped garlic cloves and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And now it's time to cook that diced onion. Over medium heat, heat one tablespoon of a neutral oil like grapeseed oil until it shimmers and add the onion and then cook it for five to 10 minutes, stirring frequently until they're tender and browned. Then add in the toasted cumin with that uh, diced garlic and that one teaspoon of smoked paprika and half a teaspoon of salt and cook for just one minute. Now add three tablespoons of tomato paste. I only had half that amount in paste, so I added a couple tablespoons of tomato sauce to fill in the flavor. Now we add in all those sweet potatoes and the carrots and the chipotle, plus four cups of vegetable stock. And I like to use a vegan bouillon cube and a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And then we need to add four cups of water or just as much as your pot will allow. If you have dry French lentils, you can add one cup of those to the soup now. If you wanna use canned lentils, wait until later. So bring all of this to a boil, and then reduce to a simmer and partially cover for 30 to 40 minutes until the potatoes are soft, but holding their shape. While that cooks, you can make your crispy tortilla strips. So cut a corn or flour tortilla into strips and fry them in just a little bit of oil over medium high heat until they're browned on both sides. And this should only take two to three minutes on each side just to crisp them up. And it's not gonna look like they're cooking or anything. Like they looked pretty inactive for me until I flipped them over and then they were pretty browned. So then set them on a paper towel, towel to cool. Okay, now that our soup seems to be in a good place, We'll add the canned lentils if that's what we're using. And by a good place, I mean like the sweet potatoes are obviously cooked through um, to your liking. If you like them really al dente, then your cooking will not take as long. Um, but you definitely don't want them mushy. 
So I drained the can and poured all of the lentils in there and they just need to be heated through, not cooked. And there's our glorious soup. Look how pretty in fall that is. What a great texture too. So serve with cilantro or slices of avocado, definitely a squeeze of fresh lime juice. Or if you do dairy, then you can do sour cream or queso fresco. It really, really looks the part for a fall soup and it is ideal for a vegan Day of the Dead celebration. That is it for this recipe demo of vegan sopa azteca or sweet potato and lentil soup with a Mexican flavor profile. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash dead soup because it's time that I have fun with these web link names. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.